At the start of class um, every morning for AP Computer Science, I always give my students a uh, do now question, usually a multiple choice question. And it's an easy way for me to get a, a some, port, some points on the board so the students get some uh, feedback about how they're doing, as well as um, uh, start the class uh, promptly. Um, so I definitely recommend this and it's, uh, it, you know, can go right into the grade book, so it's it's awfully convenient. Let me show you how it works. We start with the second option here, an online assessment. So we'll create an assessment here, and I'll call this um, do now number 65. And it I usually keep them out of three points, so it's pretty um, pretty lightweight. Um, and then is my classwork, and I will give them now two attempts. So that way, if they don't get the it, uh, if they don't like the score of the first attempt, they can uh, select to repeat it. Um, and uh, typically, I don't ever allow them to save it for later. This means if they don't have this option, if they navigate away from the page. It's locked. You would have to manually allow the student to resume the quiz if they happen to close the browser. So sometimes I enable this only because some of my students uh, are repeatedly closing the browser and it's frustrating for me to click on the assignment and look for the button that says allow incomplete students to uh, resume the exam. I'm going to give this uh, an abbreviation for do now 65 from a grade book. Um, these options are fine. Add it to the grade book, add it to the cumulative grade. So it's not like extra credit. And then um, uh, the, the extra credit option here behaves much differently than I ever expect. I never use it because I don't understand what they mean by extra credit. I think they mean that it just is for like, you know, good feelings. It doesn't actually impact their grade. This is confusing to me. Anyway, um, I give it my due date. My next class is Wednesday. Um, and then I usually make it do it by the end of the week. So that way, if students are absent, they can still jump in and make up for it. And I'll publish it on the assigned date. If I publish it now, they can see that it's in their uh, calendar, though they can't see the question yet um, until it's actually assigned. So now I'll save and add questions. Before I bother giving my assignment a description, or go over to the questions and add in one of the four question types that are available. I first go to results and I check the first four. I don't even remember what they do. I just remember I always want the first four. Um, and that's uh, that the students can see their score, that they can only see their score after everyone submitted at least one attempt, that um, they show all of the questions on the results page and you see which of your questions you got wrong and which ones you didn't. I don't like to show the correct answer. I don't care about this. Um, the, I guess if if multiple attempts are are enabled, then yeah, you should be able to show that button. Um, that's uh, yeah. I guess maybe you can withhold that option until the students until you want to give that make it available. So that's cool that you can not show that, but that should be on by default if I. I say in the settings that you can take it more than once, but that's just me. Okay. Now this is all pretty cut and dry, so I won't go into too much detail. The multiple choice, you just drag it into place, and then you uh, give your question, um, you know, uh, which one says hello, and then you can give your uh, uh, duh. This one's correct. There you go. And you can add more answer options or remove answer options. You can add in a picture if you wanted to as well. Though if I, I often do add photos to add a picture, but they, it opens it up in a new, uh, like in a modal. Uh, and sometimes the students hit backspace or like back not realizing that will take them off the exam so including an image means that you need to be prepared 
uh, so that once your exam is ready, students will um, accidentally uh, lock themselves out. You'll need to select the name of the exam and then you'll see a button to allow students to resume it.